I'm Skylar Vold. I'm the sage grouse conservation coordinator for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. Today we're out here surveying sage grouse leks. Sage grouse are a sagebrush obligate bird, which means that they rely on sagebrush habitat for the majority or all of their life cycle when it comes to breeding, brood rearing, nesting, um, and even wintering. Every year, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, in cooperation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the BLM, um, tribal entities, and other agencies, actually conducts sage grouse lek counts at over 750 individual leks. Some leks are even counted multiple times. So we have what's called trend leks, which are the leks that have been monitored historically, which are counted up to three times, whereas other leks are counted one and two times. We estimate that there are approximately 14,000 individual sage grouse in the state of Oregon right now. Um, 2019 was actually the lowest population estimate, and then last year, 2020, we saw a slight increase, so we're hoping that this year, 2021, we'll see an even larger increase in the population. So sage grouse have been a species of interest throughout uh, eastern Oregon for, for decades now. Uh, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife has done sage grouse let counts uh, at least since the 1950s that, that I know of and, and you know, every year since. Uh, the number of leks that we counted has changed through time uh, as interest in sage grouse populations has changed through time also. Uh, sage grouse used to be quite common. Um, population levels were high across eastern Oregon, southeastern Oregon. Uh, they've declined for, for several years now, for, for decades now in, in fact. And as they've declined, the interest from the public, the interest from the agency, the interest from federal agencies has increased. Um, our counting presence across the landscape has also increased. The number of leks that we've counted through time has, has gone up. Um, we, we monitor the population because the population is a species of concern. It was a candidate species a few years ago for, for listing as, as a threatened and endangered species on, on the federal list. Uh, that that uh, listing was was denied at the time, but they are still a, a species of concern. And um, we we hunt the species. Uh, we have a very limited hunting season on them, so we use these counts to de develop a population estimate that we base our, our tag numbers on. We hunt no more than five percent of the male population uh, in any given year. So one of the issues we face here in, at least in Deschutes County, uh, with sage grouse is, is disturbance to sage grouse. One of the things that we'd like to avoid that we do when we try and count, and also that we'd ask the public if they're out viewing sage grouse, is trying to try to avoid disturbing the birds on the lek during the breeding season. It, it's real obvious when, when the birds are, are feeling bothered by your presence. They hunker down on the lek, they, they're not strutting anymore, they're not moving around anymore. When you see that, you're too close, you're making too much noise, back off, get away from them, uh, try and view them from a distance. Everybody likes to get close, but it does have an impact on the birds. We've, we've had leks that have been closer to town that have been abandoned, and, and at least in part, we do think from, from disturbance by the public, going out and, and viewing the birds. We understand why people like to view the birds. They're, they're uh, tremendous to, to see in the springtime, but you, you just have to be aware uh, that, that you do have the potential to cause disturbance to the birds on the lek and eventually can cause abandonment of a, of a lek. Um, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service ha has a, a lek cam set up. They've had it set up for the last several springs, so you, you don't even have to go out in the desert. You can just sit at home on your computer uh, watch the birds live uh, on, on camera strutting and, and doing their thing with, without disturbing them. So that, that's a good way to view a lek um, if you'd like to do it. Um, other times of the year that we like to avoid disturbance of the birds is during uh, brood rearing time, uh, which is early summer, um, May, June, July, that, that time of the year. If you're around areas, um, around playas, around little riparian areas, things like that, that, that birds are concentrating in with their chicks, please give those areas a wide berth. It's, it's a critical time for, for chick development and survival. 
Um, so, so give them a wide berth at that time of the year also. The other uh, critical time of the year is, is during the winter time when, when we get snow on the ground out here. A, a lot of time the snows get pretty deep. Uh, sage grouse are dependent upon sage, sage brush for, for survival. Um, and they winter in certain areas. Uh, so try, try to avoid those wintering areas where the sagebrush is sticking up above the snow. If you see sage grouse tracks in the, in the snow, just leave the area. Uh, don't try and find the birds, don't try and flush the birds. Any energy expenditure is gonna be detrimental to their survival through the winter.